It's the Homeland Procurement Reform Bill, is that correct? That's correct. So the, uh, obviously this bill deals with important issues about how we're actually handling procurement, what we're doing in Homeland Security. I, I appreciate that very much. I have raised an issue uh, with this body several times that I want to be able to briefly raise again and to be asked, just consider. We have a Homeland Security issue that's currently going on right now on how we're spending or not spending Americans' taxpayer dollars. I understand when I say the word border fence, a lot of people have a lot of different perspectives on this. This used to not be a partisan issue. <clears throat> now it is a partisan issue. But I think what should not be partisan is just wasting American taxpayer dollars. So if I can just make a brief statement on this of what I'm talking about. This amendment that I'm bringing just says with the dollars that have been allocated to do the fencing that has already been requested by Border Patrol, gone through the full federal studies to be able to evaluate this is an area that for national security we do need border fencing. Uh, for that fencing that's been approved, that's gone through the full process, that has been paid for by our tax dollars that we all have management for, that we should finish that. I've brought the pictures of the fencing that's up and the huge gaps that are in the fence. We've had almost 100 days past when the administration said they were going to be done studying the fencing issue, and they're still studying the fencing issue. Now, we may think, okay, they're studying it. It's no big deal. Let me bring two things to you. Right now, we're spending $3 million per day paying contractors not to install the fence. $3 million per day to contractors to not install the fence. We're also paying dollars to contractors every day to sit next to the steel that's on the ground that was already delivered and to guard the steel to make sure the steel is not taken away by people that would wanna grab the steel and haul it away. Currently this year, we have spent over a billion dollars so far not installing the fence. That's not money we're gonna get back. We literally get nothing for that. A billion dollars has been spent not installing the fence. What does that also mean to individuals and workers? Let me give you one quick example of this. One of the aggregate companies that was there that had been contracted by the Army Corps of Engineers, uh, when the 60-day study was put into place, they were told by the Army Corps of Engineers, pause for 60 days, you need to be in standby mode, ready to be prepared. That means they're still paying employees, that means they still have to rent all the equipment that they have. They still have to have security for their yards. Uh, they still have to maintain all of their equipment and maintain their personnel in that spot. They are now having to find a way to be able to break contra contract because they've incurred over $1.5 million as of last week, this one small business in cost to their business for not doing the work. They're literally filing suit against the federal government saying, we're being told to stand by, we're incurring all these costs but we're not doing anything except for actually gaining costs, that we can't build the government because we're not actually installing, there's nothing we're installing. So this standby mode of just not finishing the gates and not finishing the technology, because that's the two things that are left, hang the gates, install the lights and cameras. We all have agreement on the lights and cameras. I don't think there's a single one of us that oppose that, a single one of us that oppose the road that runs next to it. We can all discuss whether it's the right thing to do or not, but a billion dollars that we've literally thrown down a hole arguing about whether we're going to install the technology and putting small businesses at risk in the process is not wise use of taxpayer dollars.